Hey all, welcome to Shattrek. This is Raj here, friends. Uh, today's um, video is going to be on uh, HIV and uh, I want to talk about um, a dual CAR T therapy that was aimed at uh, HIV and uh, it has completed phase two study and I want to talk about the results of that study. That's the reason why I want to do this and I'm sure you'll also be inspired at the end of this video. So, um, just to give you a brief overview, this was uh, developed by Dr. Uh, Stephen Deeks uh, from University of California, San Francisco, and I think they had a grant of around $8 million or something to do this uh, uh, research. And um, the first um, dosing, I think, happened in uh, somewhere in May 2020, if I'm not mistaken. So um, uh, since then, a long time has passed and we have results. Uh, in phase two, they did a, a more extensive um, uh, extensive research in terms of having more participants. They had around 40 participants uh, in the second uh, phase. So I'm going to talk about all that uh, and uh, we'll conclude with why I wanted to do this video. With that said, let's get started. Welcome back friends. Um, first, uh, I would assume that uh, most of you come to this channel only to look at our HIV videos and uh, very few of you might be seeing our genomic investment videos. And that's the reason why I would assume that you may not know what a CAR T is. If you already know about it, then you can skip this section. Yeah, it's just two or three minutes of me explaining what a CAR T is. And you can go ahead. If not, you can watch this whole thing. So in our body, we have CD4 T cells. Uh, if you can check out my playlist on human immune system, you'll find the correlationship between the macrophages, the CD4 T cells and the B cells and how the human immune system works. And when all these cells are born, they are naive and then they get activated once they come across the uh, antigen belonging to a pathogen. And after that, they create plasma B cells and they create memory T cells. Uh, so that's the whole thing. I have explained it in that series. You can have a look at it. There are around six or seven episodes out there. Uh, but Having said that, we have CD4 and CD8 uh, plus T cells in our body. And um, uh, these uh, CD4 T cells, as you know, uh, have a CD4 receptor, which is uh, coming out of the CD4 body. It has got four domains, domain one, two, three, four, with the domain one being in there, uh, in one end, and uh, domain four on the other end. Uh, and uh, HIV's GP120 protein is always attracted towards uh, CD4 T cell. Uh, so CD4 receptor and therefore it, uh, it binds into the CD4 receptor and as soon as uh, GP120 binds to CD4 receptor uh, it dissolves and uh, inside it is the folded uh, GP1 for, uh, GP41 which opens up and uh, goes into the membrane of uh, the uh, CD4 T cell and paves the way for uh, viral RNA to get into the uh, CD4 T cell. So this is the mechanism for HIV. And um, so I would be thinking that uh, if HIV comes in search of um, uh, CD4 T cells and we happen to be designing a CD4 T cell which will go in search of HIV, then we better fortify it. So I was looking for something similar to what uh, AGT103-T did by uh, removing the CCR5 domain and by putting a short interrupting RNA inside the uh, AGT103-T uh, uh, T cell. Uh, but I didn't find anything like that. But the way uh, this uh, therapy approaches uh, HIV is that um, the CD8 and uh, CD8 plus and CD4 plus T cells are harvested from the patient's body uh, and uh, they are uh, acted upon by a lentivirus uh, outside the body and the lentivirus uh, provides uh, editing instructions uh, inside these uh, T cells for them to express what is called as a chimeric antigen receptor. So you can imagine the chimeric antigen receptor to be something that comes out of uh, the CD4 uh, surface and it has got a receptor at the uh, at the other end and what this receptor is uh, programmed to is to have a high affinity for uh, the GP120 protein wherever it comes across it and GP120 is unique to HIV. So when the CD4 T cell goes in search of uh, HIV and HIV comes in search of CD4 T cell, the uh, chimeric antigen receptor, which is called CD4 Zeta, uh, 
uh, latches on first to the GP120. And once that happens, GP120 is no longer free to uh, fuse with the CD4 receptor on the CD4 T cell. And because of this, uh, the CD41, sorry, the GP41 is not uh, released, and therefore no infection takes place on the CD4 T cell. So this is how the uh, this uh, therapy is uh, expected to work. And um, uh, they, they did the trials. Uh, I believe the first two patients received the therapy in May 2023, and I came across the results of phase two study as well. The phase two study involved 40 HIV-infected individuals on HAART, which is a well-controlled um, uh, viral load um, uh, predicator. So if somebody is on HAART, their viral loads will be absolutely under control. A uh, highly active antiretroviral therapy or HAART can effectively control HIV in the blood, but might not completely eliminate the virus from the cellular reservoirs in the body. Immunotherapies that can destroy infected cells in these circumstances may complement the drug uh, drug therapies targeting HIV replication. And this is where the dual CAR T comes in. CD4 plus and CD8 plus T cells uh, taken from the patients were modified using a lentivirus to provide a chimeric antigen receptor called CD4 zeta. And um, the modified uh, chimeric T, uh, T cell receptor called CD4 zeta has part of uh, human CD4 that recognizes the HIV GP120 uh, protein, which is on the surface of HIV, and a signaling component uh, zeta chain from the CD3 T, T cell receptor is also present in the uh, chimeric antigen receptor. So um, using this, uh, a study was conducted on 40 participants. The findings in the study can be summarized as follows. While both modified and unmodified T cells improved immune response, the modified T cells showed some promising signs of reducing HIV burden in certain tests. As, uh, this suggests a, a potential benefit in combination with standard HIV treatments. I know you would say it's very anticlimactic. Uh, I would like to tell you that uh, it was a resounding success, but I can't make that statement because uh, the, the variance was not that substantial and the sample size was not that big. So I would say that it is positive and a further investigation would be needed. I, I believe around $8 million was the grant amount for this and it was a university uh, study. And um, I do not know if uh, this will be taken up by any uh, pharma company or uh, genomics company uh, further for development. Uh, but the reason why I made this uh, video was uh, to again emphasize how money is being poured into HIV research and how scientists and companies across the globe are targeting every facet of the HIV life cycle in order to co combat the disease. And they're also using all possible uh, tools they have at their disposable, sm disposal, small molecules, large molecules, CAR T, uh, ge genetic um, antibodies, whatever, broadly neutralizing antibodies, whatever they can lay their hands on in order to control this disease. So uh, I think you should stay hopeful and uh, as we gain greater and greater understanding of uh, genetics and gene editing, a solution will arrive and I firmly believe that it's going to come from uh, the uh, gene edited uh, or gene therapy uh, section of uh, the industry. And uh, I'm going to be watching this to see if the good Professor Deeks continues to do more research. I'll also reach, uh, reach out to Professor Deeks and see if he can give us an idea of what his plans are going forward. Now that he has got some encouraging results, it was not a failure, it had a positive results. How does he plan to proceed further? Is he going to modify the protocol and try it again? Or is he going to make any changes? Or is he going to talk with any other um, uh, commercial um, uh, drug company uh, to take this up? So I'll have a, I'll send an email to Professor Deeks and see if he replies to us. That's all for now, my friends. And I hope this gives you greater confidence that things are moving in the right direction and lots of uh, work is being done uh, to find a cure for HIV. So that's all for now. Have a great day and I'll catch up with you again in the next video. Stay hopeful, stay healthy, stay happy. Bye for now.